Hello, and welcome to the latest Q&A in Screen International's For Your Consideration screening series. My name is Stuart Kemp, and I am delighted to be speaking to Serbian filmmaker Dusan Milic, who, co who wrote and directs Darkling, and Danika Kuric, who stars in the film. His fourth feature, Milic's film, is set in post-war Kosovo and sees a family living in fear each night when military protection disappears and unknown horrors await them in the forest outside their house. The unsettling thriller debuted at the Trieste Film Festival, winning the Audience Award. Welcome, Dushan. Welcome, Danika. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Just to start, Dushan, where did you shoot the film? Uh, we shot the film in the very south of Serbia. It's the very southern province of Serbia, nearby Kosovo administration line right now. Uh, it, it was very difficult, you know, for us because it was like a 500 kilometers away from Belgrade. So uh, <clears throat> the accessibility and the feasibility of all the production uh, uh, things that we uh, needed to do, you know, it was really a uh, little bit more complicated than we expected you know but finally at the end i'm very satisfied with the location that we found and how we shot the film and did you did you shoot on it entirely on location or with the interiors of the of the house a set or did you film on location Yes, everything was on the location. We uh, we built a set completely, like uh, exterior studio, I call it. You know, so we we build the the house from the very from the scratch, uh, and all the interiors and exteriors were shot at the very same place. You know, because we had that uh, ideal uh, situation that we have uh, this house built in a in a in a woods where it was. Uh, everything quiet and very easily to, to record the, uh, I mean, picture and sound wise. Mm. Uh, uh, how long was the shoot? How long did you actually physically shoot? It, yes, it was not so, uh, so long <coughs> shooting. It was like uh, six weeks, uh, six weeks of shooting, uh, but the preparation of the, uh, of the shooting was really strict and very, <coughs> Uh, thoroughful, you know, because uh, we didn't have money, you know, to to spend a lot of the uh, in a, in a for a shooting day. So we had to prepare everything mm. in, in advance, uh, and we staged all the blockings and everything else that we needed to do before the shooting with Danica and Slavko Stimac, who is the beside Danica, the main actor in the film. Um, now, so Dijan, this is your fourth feature. Um, why this story uh, in, in, your, in your career? You know, when I read that article a long time ago about this little girl uh, writing the letter about hard living uh, of children, you know, to our pre former president, you know, so it was a really struck me a lot and it was a, a re it had a really great impact on, on my emotion emotions you know so just i i needed you know to to find a way to tell that story because that story is based on the true events um and i started to work on this script in 2015 if i remember well you know so it was a long process but it was very very uh, intense story <clears throat> myself and very very uh, I needed to tell this story when I re read that article about uh, how the kids are living in a wartime, uh, how uh, their uh, childhood is ruined, you know. So that was my basic idea. That's how I started uh, to write this story. Uh, uh, Danica, you play a mother faced with putting on a brave face for her daughter's sake. Um, She's, mm. you're frightened and, and you're grieving for your missing husband. And you're, I mean, your role encapsulates powerful emotions and a, and a really complicated picture of parental protection, resignation, fear. I mean, a strange relationship with, with your stubborn father who mm. uh, or won't leave. I mean, how intense uh, an experience was the shoot? It was very intense and challenging in many ways. First of all, this was my first project in Serbian. So it was a great dream come true. Uh, that's a whole, you know, a personal um, dream of mine uh, that it's been for a long time to to try to act in Serbian and then in this wonderful project. And of course, you know, it was really shot in very, you know, the circumstances were very rural, which made it very easy to live yourself as an actor in these given situations, you know. 
um, and of course, it's a there wasn't a lot of <clears throat> dialogue in the movie. So, so the amazing challenge in this role for me was definitely to how to how to uh, translate all those emotions and all the and the physicalities and trying to keep some um, like what what is what is their everyday look like, even though they're in the midst of a war and a totally extreme situation. So uh, it was an amazing challenge to really work with with physical actions, you know, and how to uh, yeah transmit those emotions through those actions. Did you have any uh, mm -hmm. way of working out how to convey those sort of emotions uh, without without too many? Words? I mean, I, I I mean, I I kept going on. Uh, what do you call it? A dialogue within myself, of course, and a monologue, and of course, trying to. It's all about how do you say like uh, with what. Uh, um tempo and aggression or uh what like how i um uh, do the movements you know um that that's the way trans the emotions translate yeah was a lot to do with rhythm uh of delivery <clears throat> and also the a lot of rhythm and a lot of of course constant um doing one thing but constantly having a a focus on especially the father because in the movie, she's she's of course her big thing is to kind of persuade her father to go with her, to go with them. So of course she's set in a complete uh, inhumane uh, situation of of choosing between like do I stay uh, here with my daughter uh, because my father doesn't want to leave and risk all of our lives or risk all of our lives by leaving, you know. So it's this constant kind of doubt and constant questioning and constant antennas outside of survival, you know, while keeping some kind of normality in the household, you know. How, so how that was a beautiful work, challenge. How did you work with your younger co-star, Miona Ilov? She, I mean, you, who plays your daughter? It's an extraordinary right. uh, connection. Well, she was amazing. She was so, like, she, I, this was her first movie and she was just so open and, and uh, emotionally open, which was the most important. So we just, connected a lot I think through you know a lot of talking in the beginning and trying to get very physical you know and then yeah it was just she just went into it 100% with me with us and there were some really challenging scenes especially you know running in the mud the fire the you know it's really uh takes some yeah does she just have the 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 uh the attributes of youth and she just threw herself into it and totally Completely, completely, with so much trust and love, and oh, yeah, amazing. that was amazing. Yeah, brilliant. Uh, Dushan, uh, the lightning storm and the fire uh, is visceral and climactic. I don't want to do too many spoilers for the film, but um, how long did that take, and and how challenging was it to to film effectively? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, you know, half of it we did uh, we did digitally, so hopefully we, we did a uh, good work. You know, with this digital. Uh, CGI because uh, nobody uh, put at attention, you know, that it was done in digital. Uh, it was very challenging because, you know, I needed to kind of progress the the the, the, the fire and the lightning strikes at, uh, until the end of the film. Uh, we did it uh, some some of it. We did it on a, like on a set on in a real time, you know, with a real fire without actors, of course, but. Uh, Thank God, you know, today it's uh, not so complicated, you know, to mix all the digital intervention that you have on the picture, you know, with the real things. Uh, so, yes, I'm very happy how it became at the end. It was a really uh, challenging, especially because the safety of the actors was uh, were on the, on the first place, you know, on the set while we were doing these fire scenes. Actually, I want to get, ask you about the, uh, the the actors and the safety on set. When, when you, like, how did you go about casting uh, uh, for this extraordinary project? Yes, you, there aren't that many people in it, but everyone plays an absolutely vital role. Uh, tell it, talk me about the casting, please. Yes, uh, I will say about professional actors in a second, you know. But first of all, um, um, I need to talk to speak about the casting of a little girl, Miona. Uh, the little girl who is the main actor in the film, you know, so it, it was really challenging because my uh, uh, casting director, Bob and the Dej and myself, we were spending like three weeks uh, on the southern part of Serbia where I wanted to have uh, the child, uh, the main actor to come from, you know, so I didn't want uh, 
wanted her to come from Belgrade. I wanted her to come from ver very nearby Kosovo because she lives in Kosovo and she needs uh, she needs to express the dialect, you know, very uh, specific uh, uh, way of thinking and everything else. Uh, so we did it, uh, but you know, when you cast 11 year old girl, you know, you cannot cast it too early because uh, in a couple of months she becomes like a woman, you know, and uh, there is no uh, anything else that you can do about that, you know. So we cast uh, around 100 girls for this role. And we, pick, uh, we picked uh, Miona uh, in the very last, last round of the casting process. Uh, when I saw her eyes, you know, and when I saw her presence in the frame, you know, I, know, I knew that uh, she, will, <clears throat> she will be the one, you know, because when you work with non-actors, you know, it's a completely different thing than when you work with actors. Uh, with Danica, uh, Danica, don't know, but we met each other 2014, long time ago, where uh, when she was a shooting star at Berlinale. My uh, good friend and actor of mine as well, Nikola Rakocevic, was at the same uh, shooting star session with Danica, so we met there for the Who first plays time. The priest? And, yes, yes, he he plays the priest in this project as well oh. in the, in, the, in Darkling. And then uh, when we started to, to cast, you know, the mother, you know, my producer, Snezhan Avana Howellingen told me that uh, maybe we should, should take care about some Serbian actresses outside of uh, Serbia. Uh, and we came up with Danica as, uh, at, at the mo in the same time, at the moment, you know, but, uh, but Snezhan was the, the pusher one, you know, that uh, she pushed that we, uh, that we find somebody who is outside of Serbia, but who can speak Serbian language, of course. And then we had a, we had a bingo with, uh, with Danica, you know, at the end. So uh, uh, when, uh, when I got uh, to speak with Danica, you know, I immediately knew that uh, Danica will be there. And uh, Slavko came, uh, Slavko, I, I'm talking about Slavko Stim as the main actor, the grandfather in this film. Yeah. Yes, he, he came along the way and we did uh, some kind of uh, like uh, pre-shooting uh, things, you know, rehearsal shootings with Danis and him and he was great and that's how we, you know, it, you're, you're always in the hands, uh, I say that you're always in the hands of God, you know, when you start your, uh, your project, when you start, especially when you start filming, especially when you do this kind of final, of final touches like castings and things like that, you know, so... I needed to believe uh, in a higher power, in a higher power, you know, you know so mm -hmm. at the end uh, it paid off, I think, you know, with those, oh, these three great people, you know, in front of the camera. Uh, and uh, would you describe Darkling as a, as a horror film? Uh... Yes, I started like, I started, it started like a, a proper drama, let's call it like a dramatic film, you know, but uh, in the meantime, when I was writing the script, I found out that maybe with the kind of uh, kind of genre touches, you know, in the script, I can maybe alter it to a different height, you know, maybe to approach a different kind of audience, maybe wider audience, and that's how I started the process of writing a little bit of a genre film in this in this story. Uh, but at the end, I would say that this film is not like a kind of a horror film. It's not a pure genre film, but it's a mixture between somewhere between uh, drama and kind of horror suspense or psychological suspense, something <coughs> like that. Um, and then uh, what was the biggest challenge you, you faced making it? It's always, uh, you know, it's always, uh, it's always a, a, political, a political thing at the end. You know, the biggest challenge for me was that uh, I wanted to say, uh, to, uh, to speak and to tell a story about human, uh, human tragedy, you know, not about, not about politics. I didn't want to, to go uh, to discuss about uh, world politics or whatever, you know, even though the film, this film was released just uh, two days after uh, the start of the Ukrainian war. So a lot of people just uh, uh, put themselves in that kind of position, you know, to, to, to watch it as a, as a film, uh, like an anti-war film about anti, any kind of war in the world, you know? So it's, 
uh, it was that my, maybe kind of, you know, good, a good timing for the film uh, because I wanted to tell about the anguish, the, uh, the fear of fear, uh, and, the, and maybe the premise of this film is that uh, who controls the fear controls the life itself, you know, that was a kind of premise that they wanted to speak about. And that was the uh, one thing that was, uh, that was the most challenging for me to express uh, the story through a very specific moment in time. Uh, through a very very specific event in time, event in time, you know, I wanted to speak some kind of uh, uh, about uh, universally emotion that uh, that is uh, you know hiding everywhere in every human being on this planet, and that is fear, one of the most powerful emotions that humans can uh, can experience. Danica, what about you? What was the b biggest challenge when when the cameras were rolling? Um, biggest challenge? Um, well, I just think it, it, I don't know if it's a challenge, but just the fact that, I, as, as you said, Dursan, you know, these are, this is a family in a, in, in a horrific extreme situation in the middle of war. And, uh, you know, you, you need to act with your whole, uh, your whole being physically and emotionally. It's life and death constantly luring you know death is constantly luring or, or, or waving outside the the window and outside the door so keeping that intensity and keeping that yeah that um that um dimension constantly within yourself and in the room that tension was i would say the big challenge for sure thank you uh, and finally uh <clears throat> Dushan, what would you like uh cinema audiences to take away with them after seeing your film <laughs> it's a hard question, you know, because I don't want to, to deal messages, you know, with my films, you know, I just uh, wanted that uh, audience experience uh, this kind of disturbing situation that uh, this family was in. And by the end, you know, I just want them feel that uh, at, and that even in the worst of situations, you know, there is a kind of hope at, at the at, at the end, like a window, you know, to the lightness, you know. So I hope that this films, you know, sends a message kind of, there is a hope at the end of the road. Mm -hmm. Well, that seems like the absolutely perfect note to end this, this conversation on. It just take, would like, I would just like to thank you both for taking part in uh, talking to Screen International about your work. Uh, thank you very much, both of you. Thank, thank you, you. Stuart.